Whatever I do, whatever I say, keep me sanctified. Oh, keep me sanctified. When the storm clouds get low, when the battle gets rough, and my patience will try. Whatever I do, whatever I say, keep me sanctified. The messenger came to old Joe one evening, and he said to Joe. He said, your children are dead, but I could hear old Joe say, though God failed me, I'm going to serve him. Well, he lost everything he ever had gained, but he stayed sanctified. But he be sanctified. When the storm clouds get low, when the battle gets rough, and my patience will try, well I try so hard, and I've been such a failure, whatever I do, whatever I say, keep me sanctified. Lord really blessed me today. You know, today's my 64th birthday. But anyhow, He blessed me with a lot of years, you know. Uh, as we start off our, our walk through life, you know, when we're born, we're bad. And as we start our, our journey through life, you know, some of us are fortunate enough to learn about the Lord. At the first some are raised in homes that all they do is cuss and fight. They never mention the Lord. They never take their kids to church. That's right. They never do anything to, to, to train their kids up in, in the ways of the Lord. But you know, I'm thankful that I was trained up in a, in a home that, that loved the Lord. Oh, now my dad, sometimes he would get drunk and he would fight and cuss and carry on. But you know, the last little bit of his life, he served the Lord. Amen. And you know, I thank God that he did. And, and, and he raised us up in church, and he raised us up to respect God's house. Honey, if I got up and got to moving around, he'd take me outside. When I come back in, I was glad he sat down. I didn't move around. And you know, I thank God for that. But now, as I've grown older, you know, I thank God each and every day for the blessings that He gives me. Mm -hmm. And you know, He gives each one of us blessings. Amen. On top of blessings. Blessing after blessing. And, and I'm going to try to do a, an old Easter Brother song. Y'all just pray for me. As the world looks upon me, as I struggle, they say I have to be, they are so wrong. In my heart, I pray for sleep, how I wish it could be.
Thank you. 
It's gonna be too late. You better bow on your knees right now. You better not wait. And I'm not gonna wait till the judgment day. I'm gonna live for Jesus now. And I'm gonna pray. Until I'm carried away, I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait till the judgment day. I said I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait till the judgment day. You can play with it. I'll have sign one if this gets me great. Pick one out. Pick one out. Pick one out. We've got our own. 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 We've Sleeping below in this whole
Lord Jesus, you see every battle, every situation, everything that we go through tonight. But Lord, we stand before you tonight knowing that by Lord, if we trust in you, that all things will be possible. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah for Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, my son, my you said that everybody had the final Lord breath. Let him praise you, the Lord. We've come to praise you tonight. Hallelujah for Lord, you woke us up from last night's rest. Hallelujah. Give us final Lord rest. Hallelujah. Woke us up, put shoes on our feet, clothes on our back. Hallelujah. You put food up on our plate. Hallelujah. And Lord, tonight, hallelujah, let us stand. Let us give you praise. Grow in honor and thanksgiving. Let this word be a fire. Let it be anointed that will touch somebody's heart tonight. My Lord, my God, let this word be a fire, Lord, that heals somebody that's sick. Dressing somebody this week. The Lord Jesus, hallelujah. My Lord, my God, you make a way when there's no way. Lord, you to calm so let a storm calmer tonight. Amen. Hallelujah, Father, we love you and we praise you and we glorify you all in the name of Jesus. And everybody say it. Amen. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. He said, Now, Israel. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God? Amen. How many know tonight? Amen. It's not for me to fear, fear the Lord no more. Seem like, it seems like the love of God and the fear of God has been destroyed out of the church. But there's going to be a time, amen, that everybody's going to stand before the white throne judgment. And everybody's going to stand, amen. The Bible said every tongue is going to confess. Every knee shall bow and every eye shall see that he is the Lord. Amen. amen. I mean, oh, tonight, hallelujah, that the fear of the Lord. Job 28, 28 said, hallelujah. My Lord, my God, hallelujah. Fear, the fear of the Lord. This is wisdom, amen. Hallelujah. I mean, need the wisdom of God. I mean, need the anointing. I mean, no, amen. Hallelujah. If you fear Him, you'll love Him tonight, amen. Hallelujah. And He said to love Him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandment of the Lord and the statutes, amen, which I command thee this day. Hallelujah for thy good. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. Still, I'm going to read 14, verse 2. He said, Behold the heavens of the heaven. Of heavens is the Lord thy God. The earth also, hallowed with all that therein is. Only the Lord has a delight in thy father to love him. And he chose their seed after them, amen. Even you above all people as it is this day. I mean, know that the Lord has chosen you today. My Lord, to be in the church, amen. He has chosen you to come in, hallelujah, to be partakers of the anointing, amen, that will break every yoke and lift every burden. He's coming to let you be partakers of something or night that the devil cannot touch, amen. If you learn to lean upon him and trust in him, amen, hallelujah, he'll move the mountains, hallelujah. He'll heal the sick, he'll raise the dead, he'll set the captive free, amen. Adam, I see my Bible say that God is for you. Who's going to be against you tonight, amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I mean, oh, tonight, hallelujah, I'm going to preach just a little bit on fear. I mean, oh, tonight, amen. My Lord, my God, fear, amen, hallelujah, something. My Lord, that keeps you torment, amen. Makes you worry, hallelujah. Fear, my Lord, my God, will destroy you, hallelujah. It'll make you take, my Lord, may locks and aspirins and everything else. He can be altered and everything else. My Lord, fear will destroy you, hallelujah. Bible said he didn't give you the spirit of fear, but the power of love and a sound mind to the saints of the church. I will tell you tonight night if you're trusting, you won't have to fear him. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. You want to fear what the devil can do? Why? Because, amen. Hallelujah. He's got a hand out straight. And he said, whoever will, let it come. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. I mean, it's a time to come, brother, and receive what God has got for those that please upon him tonight. And for every battle has been destroyed. Why? Because he's come to make a way. Hallelujah. He made a way over 2,000 years ago. He said, upon a cross. Amen. My Lord, the blood was shed. Forgiveness was given unto me. And amen, hallelujah. Then the Bible said, Tarry. Amen. We tarry to receive power. Now, amen. We are chosen vessel, amen. Nothing that pop with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But now, I want you to turn over to Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. Hallelujah. And 58. 28.58 Look at somebody and tell them you love them tonight. Smile real big at them. Amen. Show your teeth. You ain't got teeth? Just show the gun. Whatever you got. Amen. Let somebody know that you love them. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, the Bible said the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about anybody else. 
I'm going to praise him tonight, amen, that walks with dead, but he's alive forevermore. I'm here to praise him that calmed the storm. I'm here to praise him, amen, hallelujah, that's able to do all things. I'm here to praise him, why? Because, amen, hallelujah, he is the Lord, the Lord, and the King of kings. I'm here to praise him, why? Because he's that living water in John 5. I'm here to praise him, why? Because, amen, in John 11, hallelujah, he's the resurrection and the life. Amen, hallelujah, because Jesus said, because I live, you shall live also. Somebody need to praise God over that one, amen. Why? Because, amen, my Lord, my God, he said, Amen. Bible Psalm 1817, we shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. How many in here, Amen, going to live? How many say, Amen, going to declare the word of the Lord? How many going to stand in the light day and say, The Lord is my strength and my high tower, and He will I trust, and He will I lean upon? Hallelujah. I will tell you that they were the royal line. They fired and remade, but they oh, that wait upon the Lord. They renew their strength. Amen. He'll mount you up on the wings of eagles. Hallelujah. How many know tonight? He's your strength, he's your peace, he's your joy, he's your sword, he's your shield, he's your hiding place, he's the one you lean upon, he's the one you trust, hallelujah, but I'll tell you the same, he's a great and a mighty tower, and if people run their heart safe, have me know tonight, all you say you're going to find, and then that man called Jesus, under the blood, sanctified under the anointing, they've been redeemed, that's the ball, hallelujah, somebody needs to praise him tonight, somebody needs to lift their hands up, to break loose, hallelujah, for what's holding you back, I say, I come to praise him, that woke me up this morning, and put shoes on my feet, amen, amen, amen. amen. we can have church tonight, if I get some of this glue broke for loose under some of these people, <laughs> hallelujah, Lord, it's time to praise him, brother, amen, Good. if you can shout at the house, you can shout at a ball game, you can shout at something or on the road. Why can't we shout in church? Ah. Amen. This is a place of life and peace and joy. This is a place that you get resurrected. This is a place to get healed. This is a place to get delivered. This is a place Bible says can vote for the throne of grace that you find mercy and grace and help and time and need. This is a place, amen. Get friends to sit the throne of God. And if you'll come tonight, Bible says come boldly to the throne. Hallelujah. Oh, hear what the Bible says. Amen. Amen. Deuteronomy 28, 58. He said, Thou wilt not observe to do all the works, words of this law, that are written in this book, that thou mayest, that mayest fear the glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God. That the Lord will make me thy plagues. Wonderful. It means, amen, he's going to bless you in them. Amen. You have so many. Amen. And the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, amen, and of our long continuance and sore sickness of long continuance. Hallelujah. Glory. One thing about tonight, there ain't going to be no sad days. I mean, hallelujah, there ain't going to be no hallelujah, sin about that days, amen, that you're going to have to worry about. Amen, because you're going to be worried about pain, sickness, and sorrows, and worries, and pain, tears, amen, hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. I want you to turn over now, amen, to 66. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you tonight. Hallelujah. Lord, it says, and thou light shall hang in doubt before thee. Hallelujah. How many fears, by the way, my God, sometimes your life finds, but I don't seem like it's in doubt. You don't know where you're going. You know where you're coming. Seem like you're against the wall. Seem like, amen, every which way you turn, there are problems, situations, amen. Hallelujah. It seems like everything's your, your mind was in doubt. Hallelujah. You don't know if you're going to wake up in the morning. You don't know to lay down. Hallelujah. You don't know what's going on. You don't know if your bill's going to be paid. Hallelujah. You don't know what's going on in your wife, amen, in the life. Hallelujah. You don't know, amen. My Lord, my God's going to come a time, brother, and Sisters, amen. If you don't know what obey the words of this of this law, amen. It's in this book. You're gonna find out there's gonna be trouble. Right on your mind, it's gonna be up to a place. Hallelujah. That you're gonna be troubled, amen. And you're gonna stay in doubt, amen. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Seal my time. Hear what he says, amen. Hallelujah. He said, oh. he said, in and he said, Thou shalt fear my Lord day and night, and thou shalt shall have no assurance of thy life, amen. In the morning thou shalt say with God that it was the evening, and amen, and when the evening thou shalt say with God that it was morning, for the fear of the heart within, my Lord, my God, shall shalt thou fear for and for the sight of thy eyes which shall 
accept thee in the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Amen. What he done? Amen. Hallelujah. When he brought the children of the well of Egypt, he pulled us out of Egypt. Hallelujah. By the Lord my God, Egypt was a place of bondage. A place by the Lord my God. Hallelujah. That by the Lord my God, that they had to work for taskmasters. And they had to do everything else. Amen. But today, amen, Jesus has set us free from the bondage of death down the grave. He has set us free. Amen. By the Lord the bondage, amen, that the Israel went down in Egypt. Hallelujah. And he said, the Lord, you're praying. My Lord, my God, thee. Hallelujah. My time. My Lord, my God, for me to begin my shift. And by the way, where I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And they, they and there shall you, my Lord, be sold unto your enemy for bondmen and for bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. Hallelujah. Still in my time. I mean, no day, man. My Bible says, be not man. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hebrews 13, 6. So that we may boldly say the Lord is my helper and my will not fear what man shall do unto me. Joy on my seal of my time. I be Psalm 3. He said, my Bible, my seal of my hand. He said, many is rolled up there against me. Many has come to eat up my place. But he said, that sword and I sat covered me. I may mean, know tonight that the enemy's rising up. He's trying to tear you down. He may bring sickness upon you. He's trying to bring you mind confusion. Amen. Hallelujah. He's trying to give you a heart. I don't know tell I'll get me confused. And you don't know which way you go. Why am I saying tonight, amen? It's time to press in and to hold on. Why, amen? When the Bible says, if you will not obey the words of this law, amen, he'll give you a rip of me to find. Hallelujah. Oh, what well, Jesus, it's a time. And you need to choose this day. Who you going to serve? It's the time to tell upon that son of rock. It's time to call upon this man called Jesus. It's time to learn that he is a way maker. Amen. He's the one that brought you out of death in the life. And by his blood, we are set free. I mean, in here is set free tonight. I mean, here. And the Lord said, be time no more. We'll be called up. Why? Because, amen, he went away and prepared a place. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He said, fear not, my man. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, my Lord, my God, fears death. Oh, hallelujah. He said, the Bible said that God heard the voice of a lamb. Amen. Hallelujah. As he said, my Lord, my God, in Genesis 21, 17. Hallelujah. When Hagar had to go out, my Lord, my God, had to leave the camp. Why? Because, amen, she had a child. Hallelujah. To where she was a bond woman. Amen. I mean, oh, that my Lord, my God, healed only deal with free people. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Bible says that my Lord, when the child went out, hallelujah, there was no water for her to drink. Amen. Hallelujah. She cried out. And the Bible said, the Lord, I cried out from heaven. And he said, fear not, Hagar. Hallelujah. I want you to learn tonight. I don't retain it bad. It seems like, amen, there's no way to escape. Look up for your redemption, God die. Amen. That door might get heavy. Amen. But look out. You'll see somebody coming your way. Hallelujah. He's your present help in the time of need. Hallelujah. I mean, oh, tonight, that the devil's out to kill you tonight and destroy you. But the Bible says, he that believes in me, and the scriptures have said, that we build it to flow rivers and rivers of living water, and the rivers of flowing from the throne of praise tonight. Under the blood, the devil can't touch what God is blessed. Look at somebody. I say I'm blessed tonight. Hallelujah. Nothing to holding me back. Death that ain't gonna hold me. The joy of the Lord has become my strength. I'm standing on that rock that Christ laid down before Peter. And tonight, amen. The Lord is my help. Amen. 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 We don't trust on what we see out in the world. We trust upon what we can't see. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, the Bible said when he spoke to a spiritual woman. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, she said, in Israel, shall we worship the Lord? She said, not only in Israel, and not only in this mountain, but he said, I worship God, must worship in spirit and truth. Amen. Hallelujah. I like that word David said, if I made my bed in hell, he's there. Hallelujah. My son, my son, don't make no difference how bad the devil gets you down. Only thing you've got to do is stay and lift your hand up and say, the Lord is my help. And call upon him. Amen. I remember when David stood before Goliath. Amen. He stood before a 13 foot giant. Amen. But the Bible said that David didn't look at him as a giant. Why? Because, amen. He had somebody inside of him. They're angry than what the giant was. Amen. I mean, they here tonight. They got that giant killed out inside of him. I mean, they here tonight. Lord, amen, that Christ in you is the hope of glory. Hallelujah. I mean, they here believing that what the Bible says. And the Lord is for you. Who's going to be against you? Hallelujah. Why, somebody step out on that rock. Somebody step out in faith. Somebody shake off everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Fear not, I am with thee. Be not dismayed. I am your God. Amen. He's your help. In a weary land. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hebrews 2 and 15. He said, And delivered them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. If you get wrapped up in Jesus, you ain't pray or pray to lay down at night to go to sleep. Yeah, no. You fold your eyes and know one if you leave tonight, you're going to open up your eyes to fire. Yeah. Amen. Oh, when the Bible said the streets of gold, water, jasper, and the gates of pearl. And most of all, you're going to see him in the tide rose and resurrected. Amen. You're going to hear him say, Come in now, blood. You've been faithful for a few things. Come on into the joy of the Lord. I want to tell you something tonight. You're going to fight battle with stuff. What do I want to say? First Peter 4 1, what did he say? He said, Don't that suffers in the flesh, amen, that seek from sin. How many know tonight, amen, when you take your Christ life, the devil's going to come at you with everything he's got. He's going to try to hit you with everything to try to destroy you and make you doubt, make you back up. But you know something like where you need to get rooted and grounded a little bit deeper up on that rock. Hallelujah. Where the Bible said that he that hears my scriptures and believes upon him. He said, Oh, I'll make him a wide man. His house upon a rock, and when the wind and the storms, hallelujah, beat upon it, it fell not. I mean, dreams and grounded tonight upon that blood, upon that anointing, upon that man called Jesus, hallelujah. It's a tie, brothers and sisters, amen, hallelujah. Don't worry about what the world tells you, don't worry about the man, what tomorrow pulls to bring, where the Bible says, the day is the day of salvation, the day is the day to get your miracle, the day is the day, my Lord, to get saved. Hallelujah. I can't help it. I get, I get happy every time I think about you. I can't stand it. Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of people get happy over a lot of stuff. I get happy in the Lord. Woo. Hallelujah. A lot of people get happy in a brand new car. I get happy in Jesus. Hallelujah. A lot of people get happy in a new house. I get happy in Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Brother, oh, you mean you don't get happy in cars and houses? I said that.
Oh, if I get a right thing now, I'm going to pray. And I said, Lord, you said you won't leave me. Hallelujah. I said, I'm going to ask your hand to be upon me. Get up there and get me back. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? Because, amen. Hallelujah. You know what I tell you, you know what the Bible says. Hallelujah. My Lord, my God, all the soldiers on the horses, as strong as they are, can't protect the rider. Hallelujah. But he said, there's one that can protect you more than day and night. They'll never leave you nor forsake you. And if they need Jesus, hallelujah. Look at somebody. I say, I'm Jesus. It's amazing how you want something so bad and after a little something happens to it, you ain't, you ain't all that happy about no more. Amen. 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 Oh, one thing about tonight, I found out that Jesus has never left me. Amen. He's always been there. I told somebody the other night, Amen, I worked over in the deep shaft mines. Amen, hallelujah. It was about 1,500 foot straight down on the elevator, seven miles back, and they made me work one weekend. And I talk about fear. I pulled up on this one section, section brother, and I heard something like a heartbeat. And I got up there, and I want to tell you something, the devil won't talk to you seven miles back under uh, 1,500 foot of rock. Amen. And I sat there and got off back, buggy, and I started to go up there and check the faces. And the further I got across there, I kept getting louder. I said, Lord, what is that? And about that time, I stopped. And I dropped my historic bread. I said, Lord, you said you'd never leave me. Hallelujah, you said you'd never forsake me. I said, oh, what's in me is greater than what's up there. Because I've got the blood applied. Hallelujah, there's something inside of me that's greater than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. And I can do all things through Christ. Oh, and I started getting my courage up went across those face lines. Right in the last heading, there's a piece of curtain hitting the rib. There when you think there's a mountain in front of you, sometimes it ain't nothing but a molehill. Amen. Hallelujah. Because when you get caught in the situations, Hallelujah, nothing's impossible. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, sit on my tie. Hallelujah, sit on my How many know? Hallelujah, there's a lot of people, my Lord, are afraid of the future. Amen. They're afraid of tomorrow. They're afraid of next month. Amen. Hallelujah, sit on my But you know what he told uh, Amen to Abraham? He said, Amen. He said, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt, for I will there make of thee a great nation. Amen. How many know tonight? Hallelujah. My Lord, fear not. Hallelujah. I mean, my Lord, my God, is fear of danger. Amen. Had him a seal of my time. But the Bible said, and Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, take to and see the salvation of the Lord. He's about to the day. Thou shalt not see the enemy no more. I want to use some of the night, brothers and sisters. When you get into a place, as you lay out all your cares and worries and fears before him, he'll come and move them. He'll give you peace and pass upon understanding. He'll give you anointing. They will break every yoke. You don't know. You know something? A lot of people, my wife told me that her daddy, if he drove down the road and a black cat ran across the road, he thought, what do you do with that salt? He throws salt he across his shoulder. Pull her out and throw her out I don't know what, what that folks uh, helped. Then he said he turned around and go back to the house. He wasn't leave the house. 
I want to tell you something like it. It won't make no difference in black, red, pink, or whatever. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, a lot of people talk about don't walk under a ladder. I think that thing come from a pot that somebody had to top on top of a ladder and it fell and hit him in the head. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I've heard a lot of people say, Not if you break a mirror, you got what, seven years, bad month? No. I said, Lord, all this is just bunch of baloney. Amen. Amen. Why? Because the Bible said he's your protector. He's the one that leads and guides you. Amen. Hallelujah. It's in him that we come and it's in him that we lean upon. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Somebody praise him tonight. Hallelujah. I feel a wow coming down. I feel the fear of the Lord touching this place tonight. My Lord, don't fear no black hat. Don't fear no mirror. Don't worry about what, amen, what tomorrow holds. Amen. For we know who holds tomorrow. Amen. Don't worry about the battle. For the Bible says that he is the battle solver. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> and the man that was going to church, riding a cart, going to a tent. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know what he did? Hey, he was holding the revival. And his chest started hurting him. Hey, Amen. He pulled off the road and the devil said, you're having a heart attack. He said there a few seconds and my Lord started thinking on that. Hey, Amen. All the ones he jumped out of the car. He ran a mile up the road, a mile back. He said, the devil don't have no time for no heart attack. Got a revival to go to. People's got to be saved, healed, delivered, and set free. I want to use them tonight. You are. I don't know what you are tonight. It was just speaking into existence. Amen. But the Bible said, Matthew 21, 22. My Lord, my God, I hate no one of you speak to faith. You shall receive whatever you pray and desire. You shall receive it. Amen. My Lord, Mark 11, 22. And said, have faith in God. Speak to the mountain. And they shall obey you. Hallelujah. It's time tonight to tell the devil, get under your feet. Tell him to get behind you. And tell him about the fact you're healed. Amen. And through the blood of Jesus, your sins are forgiven. And you're not looking for the things that's behind you. But you're looking for the things before. Hallelujah. Why? Because we pray to the mark of the prize of the high calling of God. That's in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to read you this one. Turn everybody will turn to Job. Job 4. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Job 4.14 Job 4.14 How many I want to ask you something tonight How many in here lie down at night and you see things fear comes up on you Amen Hallelujah Lord I'm more here what I thought Amen but hear what Job said. Turn to Job 4 13, then we'll go from there. He said, In thoughts from the visions of my night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, fear come upon me. Whew. Hallelujah. And trembling which made all my bones to shake. Glory to the name of the Lord. That's fear. Amen. Hallelujah. And he said, Then a spirit, they may pass before my face, they heard my flesh stood up. Woo! I asked my mother in law, I said, What would you do if something come into the room and sit down on the side of the bed and hug you? She said, I'll die. <laughs> Job said, The thing I feared the most has come upon me. Amen. And he said the fear was so strong that he shook, even his bowl shook and trembling in fear. Amen. 
Glory to the name of the Lord. Now that beard. Hallelujah. And it's a daily beard. Let me know tonight. Amen. It's not only the first time that somebody saw a beard. Amen. The Bible says, Amen. Hallelujah. And Jesus, hallelujah. Sent the disciples for he's on a ship. And the Bible said, Fourth watch of the night, amen. My little my thought they were still fighting the ship. And the Bible said that Jesus was going to pass by. Amen. But they saw him. They cried out. Said, It's a spirit. But Jesus said, Fear not. It is I. Amen. Amen. Glory to the name of the Lord. And he said, It stood still. Amen. This thing came in front of Job and stood still. But I could not discern the form thereof. An image was before my eyes. There was silence, and I heard a voice saying, Shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Behold, he put no trust in his servants and his angels he charged with folly. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, who tonight that God was dealing with Job. Amen. How many know that the devil's out? Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. If he can bring fear upon you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But you know something tonight? I went up there and visited my daughter's house. And she said she could be walking down the steps from the third to the second floor. And she said something jumped on her back. Hey. And she felt that thing. And she would scream. My wife was sitting in a chair and she said it felt like, like a baby about four or five years old caught under her legs and raised her legs up and she looked down and there wasn't nothing there. Yeah. In the upper bedroom they heard Valerie and them was downstairs they heard a big ruckus upstairs and they thought the girls was up arguing. They were teenagers then. They went upstairs and the closet doors were tore off and every side in the closet was tore out and thrown into the floor. Nobody there. They called me and Joseph to come over. And I got me a bottle of anointing oil and I went from one end of that place to the other and I said, I command you by the authority of the name of Jesus, you have no place here. We plead the blood in this place. She said, there's a peace that come upon that thing like you've never seen and never felt. I went over right before we prayed for the household. And I didn't know the room that all this was going on in. And they talked to us and stand all night. And I don't do that. I like my own bed. I went over. And they said, here, Papa, stay in this room. I said, Let's, I said I'm going home. She said, no, just stay right here in this room. I said, all right. I just went in there, Sister Charlotte started praying. Like I always do, got in my bed, went to her bed, and I laid down, me and Joseph did. We slept like a baby. Unbelievable. I got up the next morning, all the grandkids ran in and said, Papa, what'd you see last night? What'd you hear? I said, not a thing. She said, you didn't hear nothing? I said, no, not a thing. I said, why not? I said, the blood was in the room. Amen. Christ said this best angel to stand around me. Amen. Amen. The Lord, hallelujah, was standing with me. Amen. Glory to the name of the Lord. I want to use them when a lot of people don't understand what they what they say. Amen. When you become my little servant of Christ. Amen. He protects you. He protects you. Amen. Coming in and going out. Hallelujah. Let's be in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And you know what we did? We got some Lord at all. Went through that house. There's a peace that come upon it. Hallelujah. And you know what she said? That I ain't felt so much peace in one house in all my life. Amen. There ain't a thing going on. There ain't nothing for They pour off the walls. There ain't nothing been poor. I tell you something tonight. If you get Christ in the situation, it don't make no difference. The devil can't touch what God is back. And you're back tonight if you call upon it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I mean, I mean to pray of evil. Though I walk 
through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Psalm 23. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Look at somebody and say, we're not going to fear no evil. Christ in us is the hope. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Seal my time. For thou art with me. Look at somebody and say, the Lord is with me. Hallelujah. That rod and that staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody prayed in the night to him. My Lord, my God, if he's rod and his staff is covering you, he don't make no difference what the devil trying to do in your heart, trying to do in your home. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody prayed in the night. For Paul Burns, 133 said, but who, my who so Hearkens unto me, shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear and of evil. Hallelujah. Brother Alton, amen. We would pray for you up there, but you know something? I feel a comfort. I feel a peace. I feel, amen, that he sent angels just back to him from the kingdom of heaven. I want to use that tonight. If you believe that he is and that he's a rewarder, lift your hand up tonight. Don't let the devil take what belongs to you tonight. Head off. 
for Jesus. I said, well, I said the fourth chapter of Revelation tells me we're going to be called out to meet the Lord in the air. But I said, no. The fifth seal, when it was opened up, the Bible said there was many stood at the foot at the cross and said, oh Lord, how long will you avenge us of our blood? Amen. I think mean, they lost their heads for the days. Amen. Hallelujah. That they can finally face to face Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. How many know tonight? Tell them I'm sitting on my time. That Lord, the Lord, don't want nobody to die. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the still my. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Somebody praise him tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. I'm a seal of my time. Though and hope and came against me, my heart shall not fear. No war shall rise up against me, and this am I confident. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm a seal of my time. Oh, how many by the one of my God prayed of nothing imaginative of fear? He said, the other one, Psalm 53 and 5, he said, There were they in great fear where no fear was. There's a lot of people, brother, that's got fear. Let me put it this way. How many ever been sent someplace and you said, Somebody's been watching me? Somebody's been following me. There's something over here, right? Going over there. I pray to go to church. There's something down there. You know what I'm talking about? Imaginary fear that ain't tired, but you're afraid of it. Amen? You know what I'm talking about? Be in the mountains and pray that all oh, there's everything in the world going to work. going to come out there and go get you. Amen? Imaginary fear. You appear to lay down. You appear to get up. You appear to go outside. You appear to get out of bed. Amen. Amen. You pray to get in the car. I told a man one time, we was going to Welch, I think it was. And he said, well, we ain't got much gas. The tires are low. And I said, I ain't going with you. Let me out of the car. I said, if you can't believe that car and get burned, get back. I ain't going with you. Amen. Amen. You're creating problems before they even get tired. Amen. I said, you speak your blessing there back. We're going to get there in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And when fear comes upon you, that imaginary fear, put it under your feet. Why? Because there's something inside of you greater. Amen. Hallelujah. Than anything in this world. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I sit on my time. I'm going about fear tonight. How many got fear of enemies? Hallelujah. Hear what Psalm 118.6 says. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Ah. Woo. Hallelujah. Bob, I'm going to tell you something tonight. I'm not afraid of anybody else. Hallelujah. I'm not afraid of somebody else talking. No, no. I've come into the church for one reason. That's to praise the Lord. I've come in here to get rid by blessing. I've come to get healed. I've come to get blessed for whatever it takes. I'm not walking, walking in somebody else's life to rob me what God has got for me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not watching somebody's life to destroy. Amen. Hello, what God has got for me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you, I tell you something to else tonight. My Lord, my God, so many people have got up here watching other people and getting destroyed. But you know what the Lord showed me? Amen. My Lord, my God, just saying to the children of Israel, my Lord, just obey God. And the Bible said he sent fiery serpents amongst them. Hallelujah. My Lord, the Lord just tried out. And you know what he said? Build me. Make me a brazen serpent and hold it up before the children of Israel. And you know what they did? And oh, they looked at it. Amen. And they got bit. They didn't die. But I will tell you that they had to look at the brazen serpent and overcome the snake bite. You got to overcome. I want everybody talking about you. And everybody putting you down. And what's going on beside of you, around you. Why? Because my Lord, they but one can take you to the kingdom of heaven. They but one blood that washed your sin away. They but one Christ that coming back. And they but one judge. Amen. And that man that called Jesus, that water walking man of Galilee. And he's going to call that. I'm going to open up the book. And he's going to judge him by the work that they have did. To you tonight, man shouldn't hold you back. Why would you hold you back? Why? Because Christ is your help in the time of need. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Man told me, he said, there's people talking this and that. I said, well, they probably just started talking about somebody else. Amen. What am I saying tonight? The Lord is my strength. 
my peace and my joy. He's my healer and deliverer. Amen. Amen. There ain't none can pluck me out of my hand, out of his hands. Right. Amen. There's none can separate the love, the hallelujah that he's got for me. Amen. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. my time. Lord, we praise you tonight. Hallelujah. My Lord, my God, a lot of people fear of punishment. Oh. Uh, Proverbs 4, 26, 27. That I so will life at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. And when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something tonight. Amen. You don't have to worry about that. If you've got Christ in you, glory on him. What am I saying tonight, brothers? It's all this thing is one thing. My Lord, I found out there's 14 different fears. My Lord, fear of men, fear of my Lord, my God, to lay down. Fear of war, fear of famine, fear of this and that. But there's one thing about God didn't give me the spirit of fear. He gave you the spirit of power and love and a sound mind. Amen. Hallelujah. If you're not right tonight, don't fear. Don't worry. Amen. If you go through the fire, you're not going to be burned. If you go through the water, it's not going to overtake you. Amen. Hallelujah. If God is for you, he's going to be against you. Amen. It's time to stand up on that rock. Hallelujah. And tell the devil, you can't touch what God has blessed. Amen. 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 How many get up in the morning when you look in the mirror and say, Devil, look at this. i made in his image. Woo. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, my seal of my time. Hallelujah. Job 3 and 4 talks about darkness. How much darkness come upon him? How much trouble betrayed him? Hallelujah, my seal of my time. Job was the man that walked upright before God. Hallelujah, my seal of my time. My Lord, my God, when Satan came before the sons of God, amen. My Lord, was in himself, he said, where cometh thou? Satan, hallelujah. He said, from walking to and fro through the earth. Hallelujah. Oh, he said, have you seen my upright servant that walked upright before me? Hallelujah. He said, if you pull your head you're away from him, I'll make him curse you to your face. I want you to use of God knows your heart tonight. He knows what you go through. He knows, Job, amen. Hallelujah. Everything. He said, you can do anything to him, but you can't take his life. And the Bible says, my Lord, he took all of his riches and took all of his children and killed him. Hallelujah. But you know what he did? Hallelujah. What even came to him? He said, well, you curse God, he died. Amen. And Job looked at her. He said, you speak as a foolish woman. He said, get you behind me. I'm a two thunder night. And he said, God give it. God take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If God is for you tonight, don't fear. Stand still. And see the salvation of God. Amen. Everything that Job had was gold. And Job still stood. Lift his hand and still praise the Lord. Satan come a second time. And he said, if you let me touch his flesh, I'll make him curse you to your face. He said, you can do what you need to him, but you can't take his life. And the Bible said, he put sword and mold from the top of his head to the soul of feet. And the Bible said, he sat out in the streets for seven days. And the Bible said, his neighbors came and sat around him and never spoke for seven days for his grief. And the Bible said, he departed to die he said he wished he would never be born. Amen. Hallelujah. For seven days he sat out there. And the Bible said he took a ladle and busted the boils and let it run down his body for the pain. Amen. And the sackcloth upon him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But you know sometimes your neighbors ain't all that friendly. Amen. Hallelujah. The neighbors that came around Job persecuted Job. They said you sin, Job. What did you do to get God angry? Job said I walked in righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. All through Job. My Lord, my God, the neighbors came against him. Persecuted him. Hallelujah. But you know something at the end. Hallelujah. God spoke to Job to stand up. You belong to me, boy. Hallelujah. But what God tell you today, you're going through problems. You're going through battles. But he said, stand up. You belong to me. And like he said, told Job. And the Bible said, he told his neighbors, he said, let Job pray for you. If you don't, he said, I'll kill you. Amen. Amen. And he let Job pray for him. You know what God did? Gave him double for everything he ever had. 
And the Bible said his daughters were more beautiful than any daughter in the land. Amen. When God bless you. So I want to tell you, you know the reason you go through wars and battles and situations? Because when you come out, you come out knowing that Christ brought you out. And you know that God is your strength. And you come out more stronger. You come out more blessed. Amen. Why don't you come out and say, you ain't got no fear? Why? Because, amen, when God brings you out, you know that it's Him. And you know, amen, that the situation that was taken care of was by Him and none other. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. I like the word. Brother Austin said, Boy, go. He's up here praying. The Lord said, Lord, I thank you for the healing that you had given me. Amen. 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 The battles the man went through. Amen. And he's here tonight to praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the name of the Lord. And the, the third one is ghost. A lot of people fear ghosts. I know. <laughs> Luis calls them haints. I asked her one day, I said, what's a haint? She said it's one that's dead and didn't die or something other. I said, what are you going to do if a haint shows up to you? She said, I'm going to die. <laughs> he said, when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. <laughs> Woo! He might be in the middle of the night. He might be walking down the street. Hallelujah. But there's something the devil's going to do his best to just break you doubt and fear. But you know something when you stop praying? And when you fall down on your knees and you build that altar and say, God, you're my strength and my high tower. You said you'll never leave me nor forsake me. But you go with me to the end of this world. And you said, if I would call upon you, you would hear my prayer. Hallelujah. And I will tell you something tonight. And when you lay that altar out and you stop believing that he is and that he's a rewarder. And you stop believing that he's a miracle work and power of God. That will break every yoke and lift every burden. Fear will leave you. Doubt will leave you. Worry will leave you. Amen. And you rise up knowing that you're blessed Amen. and highly favored. Amen. 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 He was called up on her trailer dunking. Pipe work. And she said she had a crawl in her belly. I asked her, I said, what you done if you run up on some spiders and snakes? She said, thank God I didn't run up on none. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, how many in here have hypophobia? Can't stand to be in tight places. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to be honest with you. Now I've been pinned before, and I can't stand to be pinned. And they sent me up there and put me in one of those MRI machines. They rolled me back in there to my nose, just almost straight that thing. And I couldn't move a thing. I said, "Get me back out of here." You not put me in that thing. He said, we've got to get that x-ray. I know. You know what I did? I finally had to close my eyes and I started quoting scriptures. The Lord is my help and my strength and my, my anointing. And you know something? I sat back there and closed my eyes and I quoted the scriptures. It didn't seem like for five minutes he pulled me out and said, you're done. I said, is that all of it? <laughs> you know something? When fear comes upon you, it seems like it's a lifetime. But when Christ comes into the situation, there's nothing to it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I fold this in the spirit of fear. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. For God has not given you us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Hallelujah. John. First John 4 and 18 said, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. Because fear has torment. He that fears is not made perfect in love. Deuteronomy 10 and 12, which I quoted a while ago. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How many in here tonight is going through battles and situations? I mean, fear, amen, every time you go to the doctor or your fear, amen, to even go out your house or whatever. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, the Bible said, fear not. Right. Amen. What did you do, my Lord, my God, when you right. talked to Jairus? And the Bible said, my Lord, my God, hallelujah, when God, Jesus said, my daughter's unto death. 
viewers all over him because he's going to lose his only daughter. Amen. And finally, amen, when that little woman touched him, and by faith, amen, she was made whole. And the Bible said, oh, my son, my the servants came and said, touch not the servant. The master for that daughter, he did. But what did Jesus tell Jared? He said, fear not, only believe. And I'm telling you tonight, fear not, only believe. God has got an outstretched chance. He's ready to help you tonight. He's ready to take away your fear. He's ready to heal you. He's ready to lead and guide you. He's here to read and break every yoke. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody tonight praise him tonight. Amen. I don't know my time. I don't know why God gave me this tonight, but there's so much fear that's going on. And God told me, He said, My tell my people not to fear. He said, I am the Lord, and beside me there's none other, and he'll break every yoke. He'll lift you up. He'll lift off. Oh, somebody praise him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. my time. Glory to the name of the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you and I praise you in my seal of my time. Glory to the my seal of my time, to the name of Jesus. All of my satire. For I say to thee, for I say to thee, I've seen that fear, I've seen that pain, I've seen that sorrow, said the Lord. And I say to thee, he that cometh unto me must believe that I am he. He that cometh unto me must believe that I am able. Out of my seal of my time. For I say to thee, fear is in thy mind, said the Lord. But I say to thee, fear not, I am with thee. Be not dismayed, I am your God. And I say to thee, come unto me, all oh, that are laden and heavy laden. And I will give you rest, said the Lord. Out of my seal of my time. For I say Fear not, I say to thee, give them a satire. For I say to thee, I'll come, man, to be still of mine, to be the Lord of your life. I come to set the captain free. I come to give gifts unto men. I come to middle, tear down the middle wall partition. I come to lift those up that bound down. For I say to thee, as I came upon a woman, out of my seal of my time, that was in the sanctuary, bound down for 18 years. And I say to thee, I say to thee, woman, Hallelujah. How many days was you in that hospital? 
14 days. 14 days. Hallelujah. Don't you pray? No. Amen. See what God does? Sister Charlotte, are you scared? No. I'm scared of I'm talking about warriors. Amen. That's been in this battlefield. Warriors that's been under the line. Warriors that stood. Amen. And preached the gospel. What am I saying tonight? Hallelujah. Don't you fear that devil? Don't you fear what he's trying to do? To stand and see the salvation of God. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Here's Sister Short. I want you to testify. I want Brother Austin to testify. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I told my kids the other day. Amen. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to die. Ain't been afraid in years. You know, because, not me, but because of the Lord that I serve. Because of the true God that touches me every day of my life. And I appreciate the Lord tonight and our pastor tonight. Amen. I'll tell you, church, we need to look up. And praise God for the strength that He does give us from day to day. Amen. First thing I want to say, I can't say a while ago, and for God. I want to thank each and every one of you for praying for us. God has answered a lot of prayers for us. I'll tell you, when I found out I had cancer, I got down here to and they sent me to, to do their radiation and their chemo. And the doctor looked at me. He said, well, I'm going to make you just as comfortable as you can be made. I said, you're not tipping me. He said, what? I said, you're not tipping me. I said, I'm going to Winston-Salem. I said, what they say is go from there. I'll tell you, I got scared that day. I didn't shed a tear in front of none of them. But when I come out of that hospital, I shed tears from that doorway to the car. Amen. I'm going to tell you what I told Dream. I said, I'm just going to hell. I said, I'm going to end it all. Tears are flowing. I've been sitting in that driver's seat of that car. Tears are flowing. Well, I'll tell you, I'm serving a God. I, uh, we got to listen sometime. He said, you're going to be all right. I said, thank you, Lord. I told Dream, I said, I ain't got no more words. I said, I'm claiming my healing. I said, I know I will. I've done the chemo and the radiation. Never quit eating, never got sick. The doctor said, can you swallow I said, I can swallow anything I can eat. I said, no trouble. This man there, going through the same thing I was. He had a feeding tube. He couldn't swallow. I'll tell you, they couldn't believe. I ain't took none of the medicine that they give me to take through that radiation and that chemo. I didn't need it. Why? It ain't because of me. It's because of the God that I serve. Nothing he won't do for us if we serve him wholeheartedly. Amen. I'm going to tell you, I went on down there. They operated on me. They took me to ICU when they got done. I laid in there four or five days. Didn't know I was alive. Maybe six or seven before I really know that I was back alive. But they, I remember one thing in ICU. Some woman I never seen her. All I could hear is her voice. She said, I'm going to bat you. I said, No, I got a wife that does that. I said, You're not doing it. That's the last I remember about being in ICU. But I'll tell you tonight, I serve a God that'll take care of us if we leave. I'll tell you, when I got out of there and got in that room, they started wanting to give me pain meds. I told him, I said, I don't need it. I'm not hurt. I ain't hurt from the day I had this till he was took out of me. I ain't hurt right today. I'll tell you why. Because I'm serving a God. It's a prayer answering God. I'm serving a God. He's me. 
He's wielding it. He's blessing it. He's strengthening me more every day. And I'll tell you tonight, praise God. All we got to do is put our trust and faith in Him, and He'll take care of it. That's what's wrong today. A lot of people, they don't, they don't put their trust in Him as long as they in church. And just quick as they get outside the church, the devil jumps on them and tells them they're sick again. Yeah, He jumped on me. He told me, oh, you sick. I said, devil, I've been healed by the blood of Jesus Christ. That's what it takes is to confess that you are healed. I'll tell you, I might die tonight. But if I do, I know where I'm going. I'll tell you, I told them all. They said, well, what if you don't make it? I said, I've gone to a better place. I said, where if I stay or where if I go? If I go, I've gone to a better place. I'm going to tell you this and then I'm going to try to do it. I was talking to a preacher. He called. He said, well, I said, what are they telling I said, I'm going down Winston-Salem and we operate on He said, no. I said, yeah. He said, you're going to die. He said, you'll never come off the table. I said, well, if I do, it's going to a better place. I said, that's one thing for sure. He said, I'm going to tell you something else. He said, six months after you're dead, he said, they're going to bury you alive. I said, well, I don't know about that. I said, but I, I know a God that will take care of me. I said, I'm a winner either way. Or if I stay or where if I go. But I'll tell you, He's seen fit to spare me a few more days. And I'll tell you, I can't repay Him for what He's done for me. Not just taking me through His surgery, not for healing the case, but for saving me from a devil's hell. He gave His only begotten Son. He hung on the cross of Calvary so we could have life and have it more abundant. He didn't make hell for you and I. He made it for the devil and his angels. I'll tell you, that's what people don't understand. Oh, I, I don't have to serve God. No, you don't have to. But if you don't, you'll go to a place where they'll be weeping well, moaning and groaning, gnashing the teeth, and the fire's quenched not, and the worm dies not. That worm is your soul. I'll tell you why you got time. You better get it under the blood. Amen. And I'll tell you, you'll, you'll wake up tomorrow and find out you've never had such happiness in your life. People, they joy in serving God. They happiness in serving God. I'll tell you, when I was down, I still had joy because I had Jesus Christ in my life. People don't understand that. Me and uh, I'm going to say this and I'm going to try to hug. There's a Catholic woman in that hospital. She had the prettiest cross on you ever seen. I'll tell you, me and her got talking. We were up and got hands. And I'll tell you, we had a little bit of church there in that hospital room. When she left out of her, she was a praising God. She was a shouting just a little bit. I'll tell you, she said, I'm Catholic. She said, you mean you'll worship me? I said, if I can't worship with you down here, how am I going to worship you? If we can't do it down here, we can't do it in heaven. I'll tell you, we need to get our minds off and everything else and get our minds more on God. Amen. And I thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you go through the battles, I told nobody, I said, you can't serve God until you've been through the battles. Sure, unless you've had some dens and bains, hallelujah, and been through some things. Amen. You don't know how to lift your hands up. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. I've been through pains. I've had a, a kidney stone. When somebody knows the soft talks about a kidney stone, but they don't know how to pray. Amen. I had a pending trade eruption. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. When I got over, I prayed for four solid hours. They rushed me to the hospital. Josie did. Took me in. Hallelujah. And took out appendix out. And you know what I did? I got home and I started talking to the Lord. I said, Lord, why did I have to go through that pain like I did? And you know what he said? He said, you don't know how to pray till you feel the pain of others. Amen? I said, well, the rough way to, to my Lord to teach somebody. But you know what he said? He said, if you never have no pain, you don't know how to pray. If you've never been through the battle, you don't know how to pray. And if the my Lord the devil attacks you, my Lord, you don't know what to do. Hallelujah. If you don't know the word, you don't know how to overcome what the devil throwing at you. Amen? Hallelujah. That's where he 
you he said, said to just show that self approved I work but that shall not be ashamed of rightly dividing the word of truth and you get that word down inside of you you're going to put that devil under your feet hallelujah glory to the name I like somebody lift their hands up tonight I want you to praise the God amen the true God hallelujah my still alive my Lord my God that's amen it's such a short and say tonight hallelujah John I'll be 17 and 3 the true God that true God will never leave you and the true God that will stand you with you amen do it all do it all do the battles and sickness and sorrows and pain hallelujah still on my time blessed to be the name of the Lord and beat for you who's going to be against you amen, amen. amen. I like for somebody I've got to pray now and I want to know anybody in here has got fears I want you to come up we're going to pray for you we're going to demand that fear to be broken out of your life and your walk with Christ is going to be pleasant and you'll never know what fear is no more amen if you want to listen tonight I want you to come up we're going to believe in a miracle healing power that my Lord and my God is sick from the throne of grace that God's going to touch you with tonight Amen. Does anybody need to deliver the fear tonight? I want you to come up and let God touch you. She wanted her baby prayed for again. It's got a hole in its heart. All right, we're going to do that. How many believe in that healing? She's got a child here with a hole in his heart. But that God's getting ready to touch it. How many believe in that healing? How many believe in miracles? I want you all to come up. Believe with me. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Come here, Judy. You want to be hand one of that baby's chest? Hallelujah. She was born again? She's a twin. The brother didn't make it. Well, right now, in the name of Jesus, oh, everybody right now that pleased with me, everybody that pleased with me tonight, oh, hallelujah, in the name of yeah. Jesus. Father, we speak anointing from the top of his child's head to the soul of his feet. I speak anointing to take over right now. I speak his little heart healed right now. I speak that hole in his heart to be healed up right now. For you said, whatever we ask to faith, he said, we shall receive. And Lord, right now, you said in John 14, 14, whatever we ask in the name of Jesus, we shall receive. And right now, I speak a healing that broke throughout his body. And Lord, I know you're real. And I know that what we ask, we shall receive.
you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace that's a sufficient to keep us. And right now, in the name of Jesus, right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, bless them and touch them. And Lord, we give it all, all the praise to you tonight. All of us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we praise you right now. We thank you for the other one that we feel. All in the name of Jesus. All in the name of Jesus. flesh unto the Lord tonight. The devil trying to do his best to sit you and destroy you and tear you down. But I want you to give everything to him tonight. And the Lord said, what do I do? I, I require you tonight to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and soul, mind, body, and strength. And right now, Lord, I pick anointing from the top of her head to the soles of feet. I command every affliction that's attacking her body to be destroyed. I'm picking her heart healed right now. Oh, I'm my still my time. Lord, you can move Bible, my God, the blockages. You can do what man can never do. You know what's impossible for man, only the God is going to be. Right now, in the name of Jesus, let your healing power flow from the top of her head to the sore of her feet. Let that Lord he touch right now. Be that healing, be that whole. Oh, let that power flow from the head to the sore of her feet. Let her stay in tonight. Let her stay in tonight. Yes, one of 
fought fear, you fought worry, you fought all this stuff, but the Lord said, come tonight, and I will set you free. Are there another in here tonight that needs it? Well, I'll tell you what, you walk out here tonight without getting prayer over you. That's your battle. Amen. Amen. Brother, I see a fire. I see the pain in the heart. I see the tears. 
said a temporary of free and I think a loose and right there. Temporary by the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord said, if you just ask, 
in faith and doubt not. He said, I will give you whatever you ask in my name. Ooh. Hallelujah. What the scripture says, God will bring forth you. Whatever you ask in my name, now you shall receive. Ooh. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, He's not slacking in that front. That man can't slack it. But He said, Thank you. And see the salvation of the Lord. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Joy, you feel the Lord in you. Give it to the Lord right now. Let Him be your praise. Let Him be your anointing. Hallelujah, step right out. Now the place and into that anointing that you need tonight. Oh, hallelujah. You need this tonight. You need that anointing. Get them out. Out. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, my still on my time.
on if it's ever for you today. I think the Lord needs to pull from the top of his head to the top of his feet and give it for the heart. Heal! In the name of Jesus. Like a man in the city of Let me lose the now and I need the tourist that I think it's y'all.
shall, you shall receive. Amen. Uh, oh. Every need is being met. Every pain given up to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Oh. He said, I'm going to bless you and touch you and finish you. Oh. Anybody else tonight? Praise the Lord. I was hurt so bad from the base of my neck all the way down my back. Uh, Kenny put a uh, uh, muscle cream on me. I took Tylenol Motrin. I took, uh, I was putting the high heat pads on it. And it put an ice pack on I came up here towards Sister Sandy that night. And I said, I'm not. She said, no, you don't. I said, I, I said, Sandy, I've been remembering it. She said, no, you don't. I said, okay, no, I don't. It's never hurt no more after that. Praise God, it's still on. Tell it, no, you don't. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, I love that, don't you? Never, no, you don't. You're not putting that paint on it. You're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. No, uh-uh. I like it. Anybody else tonight? Big prayer. Anybody got testimony? Amen. Sheila's got a great one on her legs. Hallelujah. God had done a miracle on her. Hallelujah. Sugar, it's still running. Everything's doing good. I haven't even checked it in the past week because I believe and I know in my heart that God has healed me. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Anybody else got anything you want to say? How many believe that baby was healed tonight? Amen. 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 I'm looking for every one of these we prayed for tonight. Now when you go to the doctor, I'm looking for results. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Sister Charlotte, I believe they're taking the wrong test on you because I believe within my heart that God has laid a miracle on you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody else got anything I want to say before we pray over the prayer boxes? Johnny, uh, just want to say that I'm thankful that the family is here tonight, that I get to be here tonight. I think, you know, that the Lord has to touch me, you know, I can feel, feel the anointing strong tonight. And it really strengthened me. And got my, my faith up even more. Uh, you know, I was going through some hard battles with the family and... You know, and debts and stuff like that there. I'm still trying to find work, but I, I believe God's going to work it out for me. He's going to get me straightened back out and on good track. Amen. Give him a hand clap tonight. Hallelujah. That's all stand. I'm going to get the prayer boxes over and we're going to pray over them. Take your head at me. <laughs> Donnie, you might want to put Joe in the box. <laughs> and Michelle first. Uh, don't put me in the same box. <laughs> I said first. If I will come and pray with the first question tonight, the freedom miracle. Don't have your father be coming for you tonight. You see every name in the situation, every murder.